Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and we're going to look at what my plans are for game week 15 but before that let's see what happened in game week 14 in the Midnight Mule mini league. Two teams managed 83 points for game week 14 that was Kulakani Keswa with Scar Heavens FC with 83 points. They managed it with Captain Harland 14, Bayer 11, Watkins 11, Sun 10, Gordon 10, Saka 8, Lascelles 6, Salah 5 and Bremo 5. And no points to speak of the, on the bench, so that was pretty good. And then also of 83 points, Luigi Mario, FPL Luigi, that's a pretty cool name. Cool because I can say it right, I think. 83 points, and although they look down there with a red arrow and stuff, they didn't start till game week five, so they're actually doing quite well. They had Trippier for 12, Salah, Sun, Taylor all got 10, Watkins had 11, Saka 8, Harland 7, LaSalle 6, and Bremo 5. And again, nothing on the bench, which always impresses me if you get the bench right, because I rarely get it right, I think. Top of the table is Alexander Lawrenson with Els All Stars. He's on 942 in total. And everyone on this page is doing better than the best content creator, which we'll look at later. Now, he had Trippier for 12, Watkins for 11, Salah and Gordon for 10, Saka for 8, Harlan for 7, Lascelles for 6. And again, nothing on the bench. So very good. As for me, I'm down in 167th. I got 66 points. I had Trippier 12, Sun, Captain Salah both got 10, Watkins 11, Saka 8. Simicast 4, Embremo 5, and on my bench, Jao Pedro for 4, so not too bad. That's the least painful bench I've had for a long time, I think. So 66 points overall. Uh, so a small green arrow, so that was nice. And I'm 7 points away from 1 million. That's 7 points to the wrong side. But I did close the gap on number 1 by 7 points. That was nice. So if between now and the end of the season, I can outscore top spot by 8 points a week, I'll win the whole thing. So that's nice. Look at that, over a thousand subscribers now. Thank you very much. As you probably know, that's a bit of a landmark for anyone who puts these things out there. Now, I'd like to have a party popper and go pop at the camera, but I don't have one, so I can't do that. So maybe when I make do 2,000, I'll finally get around to getting a party popper. But for everyone who watches this and is subscribed and gives likes, thank you very, very much indeed. It's very much appreciated. The FPL Game Week website. You can go to this site and look at the content creators, how they're doing against each other, and you'd see how you'd feature if you're a content creator. And you can also see your other mini leagues there, and they show lots of interesting stats. So the current top content creator is Luke from Inspected Goals, but of people I follow, Fran, FPL Fran, is currently in third place with 894. Mark Southerns is down in seventh. I actually saw Mark at the weekend in uh, Nottingham at Ross's Nottingham Meats. But I've got I've got something called face blindness, which is I have real trouble recognising people. And I'm pretty, well, as the name suggests, blind to faces. And I thought it was him, but then I thought, nah, it's probably not. So I didn't say hello. And then I saw one of his videos today and it turns out it was him. So there we go. And then Nymphria has had a good game week. She's up to ninth now. She plays Ultimate Champions, which is something I also play. It's another fancy game online. As for me, I'm down in 51st with 822, which is just above FBL Heisenberg. You might see him sometimes online. And comfortably above Az, who's a very funny chap. I don't know if it's what he says that's funny or what he does that's funny, but anyway, he makes me giggle. So I've got three transfer options this week, and I think they're all viable for different reasons. The first one is just do nothing. Just roll the transfer and do something at the weekend. That's probably the most likely at the moment, but I could do something silly, who knows. My second option is move on Ward Prowse. Now I really like James Ward Prowse, but I, I gotta be honest, when it comes to FBL, he's not the best and there are some cheaper options. For example, I could go for Gordon. Now the downside with Gordon is He's currently marked as yellow flagged. We don't know how serious that is. And his next game is away to Everton. Now, being his old stomping ground, of course, he might end up getting 10, 20 points, something crazy. But equally as likely, I think he could get one or two yellow cards. He could get sent off. Who knows what he's going to be like? The crowd are obviously going to be on his back. So I think Gordon for this week is possibly a little bit risky, but it's got a very good upside, but it's got quite a bad downside as well. 
Also, He Chan's a very good option. Both of both Gordon and He Chan over the next few weeks, I think, are bound to outscore Ward Prowse, and they're both cheaper. So if I want to get back to Haaland in a few weeks, this is a nice, simple way to free up some money. But a downside of this move for me is currently I've got Ward Prowse on the bench. And so if I swap him for one of these two, it means I've got to bench somebody that I want to play. So that's a bit tricky as well. Option number three, Ben White's not starting at the moment since his injury. I think he's fully fit now, but it looks like maybe he's lost his place to Tomiyasu. So I could move him on and get Trent. Now there's two slight problems with this move. One, I can't afford it. And two, I already have three Liverpool players. So I'd have to sell a Liverpool player, which would have to be Darwin, and move him on for a cheap striker, for example, Archer. So at the moment, Ben White tends to be on my bench, so simply Archer would be on my bench. So I'd be effectively swapping Darwin for Trent, but that would also cost me four points. And I think in the next maybe three weeks, Darwin and or Trent could easily get six points each, or they could get 30 points each. They're away to Sheffield United next game. So it's a bit of a sideways move. So this is the least likely of the three options that I've shown you. But it is something I have been seriously considering. But if I go with option one and make no transfers, this is how my team's going to be looking for game week 15. Salah would be wearing the old mule hat. He'd be captain away to Sheffield United with his mates Simakas and Darwin. Hopefully Darwin is start, but I think... Darwin's less likely to start than Trent and he's going to get fewer minutes I expect over the next few game weeks than Trent. But is he going to get four points fewer this week? Don't know. It's really hard to tell. And then Sun would be my vice captain at home to West Ham with his mate Pedro Porro. Then I've got Johnson in goal at home to Bournemouth. Bournemouth are scoring pretty much every game at the moment. But there's a chance of a clean sheet there. And I've got Watkins at home to Man City. Man City concede goals. Reasonable chance Watkins is going to get something out of that. And I've got Saliba away to Luton with his mate Saka. I've got Trippier away to Everton. And then finally Embremo away to Brighton and Hove Albion. So I think that's kind of okay. It, whether I get a green or red is probably going to come down to Haaland. Because Haaland's the main player that I've not got. And probably Gordon, but Haaland. But without Rodri, I'm not actually too frightened about Haaland this week. Because Rodri's been banned. Because he's got five yellow cards. So I think I've got a reasonable chance of getting a small green arrow this week. And then on the bench, I've got Ariola in goal. I'm hoping he doesn't get a clean sheet because I know a lot of people will be playing him because a lot of managers have Ariola and Turner. And then Jao Pedro at home to Brentford. I'd be very happy to play Jao Pedro. But the trouble is, I don't know who I'd swap him in for, who I've currently got. And if I got rid of Ward Prowse, who's second on my bench, then I'm going to have to have two good players who I don't want to put on my bench on my bench, which is another reason to not go with option number one. And then in third place, I've got Ben White. As for the background image, that is a crochet football, or rather it's a few crocheted footballs. The reason I'm showing this is I have a niece, I think she's about 12, and she likes to crochet, and she's made herself a little Etsy shop where she sells her little crochet goods. So I'll, I'll show you that. So here's her Etsy page. It's called AFBS Crafts by Abby. And I'm aware most of you probably don't want to buy any of these for yourself, but we're coming up to Christmas and you may want to buy something for somebody else. And they're handmade by my niece. <laughs> there we go. I thought I'd show that off. So that's my potential plans for game week 15, which starts tomorrow, which is Tuesday. And being December, we've got fixtures frequently at the moment. <laughs> and so there's going to be disappointments where players we're banking on are going to be missing games or coming on for one point. It's just the way it is. It's absolutely worth trying to get nailed on players at the moment and not take risks with players that are like Darwin, Ben White, that may be rotation risks. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a good game week 15 and I hope I do too. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>